I think it's time we try out some more weird weapons in zombies. So today we'll be trying out the riot shield. What? This is not the weapon I came in with. This is weird. I did not pick this. Uh, okay, yeah, just switched immediately. So, as you can see, I have the dual Kadochis here, or however you say it. And I have our riot shield here because while we're doing the riot shield, I'm going to try to get both of these golden ivory, is what it's called? Yeah, golden ivory. That way we can get spinal husk on both of these weapons. But the riot shield has been in a few zombies games, or a shield at least has been. Uh, mainly it's been a buildable in most zombies games, or in Vanguard's case, it was the wonder weapon. But when I saw like the trailers and everything for this game and that there's going to be all the MW2 weapons, Weapons. I always wanted to see what the riot shield would be like pack a punch or just how it works in zombies. But I am a little concerned because I have done melee weapons before. We've done both of Modern Warfare 3's melee weapons and the lunge in this game is a little bit weird. I don't like it a whole lot. It seems like no matter where I'm meleeing, if I'm in a big horde of zombies, it's going to like try to magnet me to a zombie that's not even near me or just swing me in the wrong direction. So I feel like we're going to be taking a lot of damage today, even with the shield. But I did bring in stamina up and quick revive just for that. And I did have an extra rare rarity tool. So I'm going to throw that on the riot shield. I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make because it feels like it's going to be a one shot in the first tier zone anyways. Actually, let's go see if it can do anything in the tier two zone. And for a lot of the Modern Warfare 2 weapons, it seems like a lot of them have gotten like different abilities when pack a punch. I don't think the riot shield is going to have one. I can't even think of a rare ability that I would have, but it'd be cool if like uh, maybe you can melee multiple zombies at once with it or something, or maybe like push the zombies back if they don't get killed by it. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Oh, and armored zombies don't die immediately to it. It just busted their armor. That's probably not a good sign for the tier two zone. And can we break the cysts with this? Oh, we can. Sweet. As long as we can reach them, we can break them. And it looks like they can still just hit right through it. What's the point of having the riot shield? Oh, and a max ammo. Beautiful. That helps out a lot. Can you put an ammo mod on this? Oh, you can. I'm assuming it just works like normal melee weapons with an ammo mod. Let's see. Can we get some fire damage on any of these guys? I don't think it'll give it to us since we're already insta-killing them. Yeah, it's not even going off. All right, we're heading into the tier two zone. Let's see if we can find an armored zombie to try this on. We could find any. Where are all the zombies at? Oh, here they are. Oh, this is a light armored. So this doesn't do the craziest amount to him. That's like a five shot kill. And I'm still taking damage to my shield. This riot shield's awful, actually. And I know speed cool allows you to like put in your armor plates a little bit faster. I wonder if it lets you swing the riot shield faster. Probably not, right? We can try that out next game and I'll infill with it. But now we need to get some kills for it because we need 250 kills with each of these weapons and then just exfil and that's it. Look at the icon for the riot shield too. Why is it so like thin? They fucking shrunk it. But we've been dicking around for a little bit too long. We need to get a car and drive until we find a contract that we can actually use to get some camos done. All right, it took a little while, but we finally found a contract that we can do. Every time I try to go to one, somebody just snagged it. And I was thinking about doing an Outlast contract, but I really don't feel like this thing can handle it. I feel like we'll go down easily. But the sport contract's been pretty decent, so uh, let's try it out with the Ryan Shield. I'm thinking maybe I should have went into this with like Aether Shroud or something. Because Frenzy Guard is just not cutting it. I really just don't like Aether Shroud in this game. It feels weak. But to make this optimal, we gotta destroy the spores until there's only two remaining. And we gotta leave the little ticklers on them. Why are you throwing shit at me? You get down here. I'll throw some shit back. Oh, great. We got another guy coming over trying to fuck with our stuff. You better watch yourself, buddy. This is my contract. So I guess now we can't do the optimal thing, which is throw down the inhibitors on each of the spores. If this guy's going to be over here trying to kill all of our zombies, because then he'll end up just shooting the spores and ending the contract. But he is getting in his vehicle, so maybe I can get away with doing it. Maybe I'll wait a little bit. Okay, he did leave. Cool. And right, now we should be getting some decent spawns. But so far, I was expecting the riot shield to be a bit better, considering it's an entire shield, you know? Like, I shouldn't be able to take hits through it, but all the nerfs they did to the riot shield in MW2, I'm not surprised. But the one thing they didn't nerf for the riot shield, at least in multiplayer, was it being able to protect you with it on your back. So let me switch weapons here. Do I still take damage? Yup. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, it was only to my armor. That's still dumb. And what is this lunge? I'm sitting here swinging at zombies in front of me and it's turning me around to get hit by them. At least the camos are easy to get on them. Imagine if it was like kill 10 disciples or something with the riot shield. That would be a nightmare. I just picked an elite at random, but the disciple would be fucking crazy hard to kill with how fast it flies around and how much health it has. On top of it, just like health zapping you every few seconds. Actually, it might be impossible to kill. This gotta be one of the worst weapons in the game. I think the Joker honestly might be better. This lunge is actually terrible. There's no way. Oh, and there's our camo with it. Okay. Let me get 250 kills with these bad boys. 
which should be immensely easier. And then we'll be able to exfil, and then we can see what it's like Pack-A-Punch. I was saving my Aether Crystals for the Pack-A-Punch challenge. And it looks like this has the Akimbo bug as well. Where whatever effects come on your screen, they stay there until you switch weapons. Why does Akimbo have so many problems? Oh, shit. Ooh, barely survived. Do they still have the thing from Cold War where you regain damage as you're doing melee damage? Because that would at least make it a little bit better. I'm going to let them break my armor. Okay, so now we're low health. Nope, doesn't look like dealing melee damage regains it. I think we're only getting it back fast with quick revive. I'm somehow getting fire damage on these zombies with my Kadochis. I don't know how. Because I only put my ammo mod on our riot shield. Is it somehow still giving me it? Or is the zombies like hitting my back or something and getting it? Hold on. Let's see. I'll let them hit me a few times. Nope. But then I swing. All right, come on, game. Don't make me look crazy. Show the fire damage on the zombies. Oh, there it is right there. The zombies just turned to a crisp. So did that one. Oh, and there's our 250 kills. And both the spores are gone. You gonna give me anything decent for that? A self-revive. Probably good. An elemental pop. We'll hang on to that for the next game. Can't believe I didn't have a self-revive that whole time. Well, let's drive to a shop real quick. Buy a three-plate armor vest. Exfil and then come back in and do our pack-a-punch challenges with it. Give me that. Oh my god, I just bought one. First thing I open right after it is a three-plate armor vest. Waste of money. Oh well. I'm taking it with me. All right, let's go exfil. So we had 596 kills and just a little over what we needed to get both our weapons done. And it was enough for gold on both of them. Let's go. All right, right off the bat, let's throw pack a punch on this. Can we, we can't even look at it. I forget the rise shield doesn't have an inspect, but we can throw it on this. Let's take a look at these. Still looks pretty cool. Let me throw on these perks. Throw a rare aether tool on both of them. And let's get this camo unlocked, shall we? Actually, does this do anything wall pack a punch though? Come here, zombies. So hit me in the back. Still just armor damage. When I hit you, does it do anything? I mean, besides kill you? I mean, not really. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this gets no abilities when pack a punch, but just to test it out, I'm gonna throw a decoy, try to get all the zombies in one area. Maybe I can kill multiple with the swing. That's like the only thing I can see this being able to do. Nope, just one. One zombie per swing and it don't block any better. Now, I'm not too mad at it because I have no idea what they even would have changed for the riot shield, but a riot shield just already awful as it is. Maybe like increase the swing speed or something because I have speed cola on. This is what the swing speed's at right now. Maybe I should have tested it before. At least I can block bullets with it though. That's one thing it's good for. So if you ever do any like strongholds, like mercenary strongholds, it could be nice. All right. Let's get to grinding. Sooner we get this camo done, sooner we can go test this out in other zones. So let's do the same shit. Take all these out, but two. Wait, why is this guy coming over here and helping with this contract? Don't do that. Leave me alone. I'm a lone wolf. Yeah, he's over here destroying my spores. Fuck off. You ever think about that? These people are gonna make me have to pick up all these inhibitors so they can't help. Actually, I'm gonna run over here and see if uh, is there still one on the ground that I can grab. I'm gonna have to stow the rest of these. Oh, the cocksucker's doing it. I'm gonna wait till it's done and I'm picking it up. I can't. It's not mine. Can't pick it up. He just ended the contract for me. I don't need this. Stupid, dude. I think he just came and ended my contract because he wanted to do the same one. Asshole. And I think he blew up my car. So I'm taking his. You better be fast on the next sport control contract, buddy, because I'm getting that. See you later, dick. Oh, well. Hold on. We're almost out of here. Just you wait. I can't turn because of this wheel. Fuck this. I'm throwing a nade on it, though. I'll be petty. I really had a problem with this until recently. Usually people just will see somebody doing a contract and they'll go their separate ways. But now it seems like almost every game that I'm trying to like do a contract that spawns in a decent amount of zombies, people just come up and either start taking my zombie kills or trying to end my whole contract. Why? There seems to be like a whole rift in the zombies community about people playing differently than other people. Like when everybody was talking about the weapon XP thing, which is still kind of an issue in zombies with how little you get. They're like, dude, just play the game normally, which what they mean by that is by doing contracts to get XP and not killing giant hordes of zombies. Or there's other people who will see you killing giant hordes of zombies and they'll be like, you know what? Let me end that contract for you. 
So I don't get it. Unless somebody's pleading for help or typing something into the chat, I'm usually leaving them alone. I already came in here with no squad filters. Not much more I can do to just play by myself. All right, after that little debacle, we finally made it to the other spore contract. And this time I'm taking all these. But I can say that I am glad there's no PVP in this game. I originally kind of wanted PVP for the game to be like DMZ. And then like the Halloween mode came out or like the event where like you could fight all the, the bosses or whatever from Diablo. And there's just teams like sitting there camping the events killing players you know trying to just get stuff done or you know have a fun time fighting the bosses now with how players are acting in this game now i'm so glad there's not pvp now this isn't to say that every single player that is like on modern warfare zombies is like you know being a dickhead and just like hopping on here and you know fucking with other people trying to ruin their experience i have ran into a good amount of people that will come and like revive you when you're down they'll drop schematics for you if they got extra like, there's some very nice people that play this game. I just wish the whole community acted like that. But I did end up switching to Aether Shroud for this game, so let me use it real quick. I can't see anything. This is great. This is like when I was using Aether Shroud with the Joker. I really think about the whole seeing through the, the glass visor of the Riot Shield when I pick this field upgrade. And does Aether Shroud even, like, make you invisible from elites, or is it just normal zombies? Because I'm pretty sure with Tesla Storm, it only stuns normal zombies. So maybe they went the same route with this. And I'm thinking maybe I should have actually just kept with Frenzied Guard. I can't make up my mind, dude. After using this for a bit, I do feel like the speed between melees is a little bit faster when pack a punch. So at least it has a little bit of something going for it but for the most part this is ass are we not at our 300 kills for this yet i feel like we should have it by now oh there it is okay it's always when i start bitching about it now he's gonna get these ones done and we'll be good to go all right come on show me the camo it's been long enough give it here oh there it is dude i i can fucking smell these camos i'm telling you i'm like a bloodhound so let's destroy the spores and now our contract is over and we have just enough to get pack a bunch three so let's go test out this riot shield in the tier three area all right we're in the belly of the beast now and i have a feeling this isn't gonna go well first thing we need though is pack a punch give me that and we just so happen to have a mega abomination right here how much damage does it do to him can we actually block the laser is it good for that um i don't know actually inconclusive we are about to go down immediately yep we went down so hard that half our health was already gone holy shit this thing's doo-doo let me aether shroud maybe i can get a few hits on him does he even know yeah we're doing zero damage to him this ain't even worth trying at least we can kill the hellhound in one hit though that's something all these other zombies though are beating my ass actually we came out of that alive what about these guys it is a one two Maybe two hit kill, three hit kill on non-armored zombies in the three-tiered zone? Not like it matters. So I'll still beating my ass. And sure, it could be a higher rarity, but a pack a bunch of three weapons should just be able to do work over here regardless. We have it at rare rarity. That's pretty high up there. I mean, they're still epic and legendary, but how much difference does that really make? And on top of it, I don't even get like melee weapon speed. These zombies are still outspeeding me. This thing is garbage. Let me just get one nice nade kill while they're all at my decoy. And then we're heading out of this game. Beautiful. A Semtex is stronger. Let's skedaddle. I guess the only thing we have left to do is just fly back to this x with our tail between our legs. Now, I wasn't expecting much with the Riot Shield, but honestly, it could have been better. Could have been way better. You might be better off putting on like the, the melee damage muzzles on your weapons and using that. Because it's not like it even blocks that much damage. It might block the lasers from the abomination though, but I think I was still taking armor damage. So it's like there's almost no point in bringing in a riot shield unless you're going to do a stronghold. And we got here right on time. Our exfil's already here. Wow. What a bad weapon. Oh, that's why. Look at that. We got the devil's amount of kills. This thing was bad luck from the start. Let's make sure that we did get our spinal husk camo. All right, sweet. This is probably the best view we're going to get of it because I can't even inspect it in game. At least the inside looks decent. We got some camo in there. But just for fun, we can still look at it in game. So this is all the camo you see while holding the ride shield. And this is our dual kadochis here, which uh, my left hand is feeling a little tired. So it's not going to move at all. That's so weird, dude. Akimbo's got so many issues in this game. But my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. I thought the riot shield would at least be a little bit of fun to use, but it's just like the worst melee weapon in the game, basically. The shield part of it does basically nothing. You're still going to be taking a lot of damage going up close to any zombies. And outside of the tier one zone, you're probably going to get downed if you get attacked by more than like five zombies. So it's basically worthless, but at least the dual kadoshis were a little bit of fun to use. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.